Hello there, it's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee. Now, every year, my uh, somebody, anyone, different person every year, has trouble finding hats for their newborns. I know, because they make hats in the summer, but they don't make hats. No, they make hats in the winter, but they don't seem to make hats in the summer. And um, obviously, they need hats. So what I've got here is a four-fold piece of cloth and it is just literally t-shirt material and I did take some time and look on the internet and got the dimensions of babies' heads. I know, how sweet is that? So a newborn is 13 inches diameter head, all being well. Okay, uh, yeah, don't, so, <laughs> please don't go measuring newborn's heads, not without permission. And then three to six months, it goes up to 14, and then three to nine months, six to nine months, it goes up till 15. So, you know, it's, and that's, I suppose, is standard. Now this is nice, soft, stretchy t-shirt material and I'm going to use the sewing machine because of not everybody has an overlocker but this is not a, it's, it's a problem that everybody seems to have. You know, it's, it's not a, a year goes past when somebody doesn't seem to have this problem. So we are literally four fold, four rectangles straight at the bottom not at the top and I am going to probably go down half now okay it's not an ideal type of cloth I like it actually and I'm quite delighted that I'm going to be able to make this project and I am going to still have enough left over and I might make myself a t-shirt out of it so that's all I've got and that is not quite halfway but you can go down halfway and then I know the diameter half of 13 is seven and a half I've given myself a hem allowance and this is 13 along so it's pretty much square ish if you know what I mean no that doesn't make any sense okay now t-shirt material is notoriously difficult to sew it just is um I have no idea why and one of these pieces needs to be sewn along the edge So, because I'm going to do it and turn it all inside out, I'm quite happy to do it that way. And the reason I've done the ties is so that we don't have to have any pressure on the head because of, if it goes, the brain, uh, the skull is still a bit soft. So you don't want it sort of pulled down, you know, you want it um, loose on the top. So that's why I'm doing these sort of tie things, so that it's, it's floppy. Okay, now the trick to sewing this type of material is not to pull it, it's just to let the machine take it and then allow it to sew. So, okay. Now this one I'm not going to sew all the way up because I'm going to use this one as the lining to turn it inside out. The next one I'm going to sew all the way around and then I'm going to sew them both together. So you can see where I'm going with this. How easy is this to sew? Now, um, I hope I'm staying in shot. I've moved the camera forward again. So we had a little bit of a disaster with the whole mic episode. 
and we've lost a couple of videos. Um, yeah, I, I, I'll just re-sew them. I'm sure you'll be able to tell which ones I'm re-sewing, but I just wanted to get this done. And in a way, if I um, redo a video, I do tend to not include things because I think I've said it already. So, probably not a good thing. Uh, if, I, if I give myself a break, then, and then come back to it. So you can see, as long as I don't try and pull the fabric, I just let the machine do it, it's quite happy to sew this t-shirt material. And it is notoriously difficult, you know. It really is. So... <laughs> When I folded the cloth, I seem to have made a bit of a mistake with uh, the spiky bits, so not ideal, but, you know, yes, we're going for a distinctive style hat now, lovely, so that's that. And now all I need to do is just come up the side here. This is the first one and I left a hole for turning it inside out. You can see how simple this design is. Um, I've done two hats, and rather than worrying about seams and everything, what I've done is I've done it twice, so all the seams will be inside. What I'm doing now is I'm just turning one inside out and I'm placing it inside the other one so that both my right sides are together. I'm going to use the machine as a third hand here and just put that there so that I can work on it and I can do all my wiggling and my fidgeting and I'm not stretching the fabric at all. The whole trick of this is not to stretch the fabric. So I have one pin here. Now this sort of fabric can be a bit of a problem with pins because you can literally scar the fabric um, so that's why I'm not using an over amount of pins and I'm now just going over the seam obviously that's what that banging was making sure that I've got both sides of my fabric and I put the pin in there so that the, the ends meet and what I'm going to do is go one way with one and the other way with the other Lovely. Then I'm going to move the whole garment round and then just sew through. Now I can put the link up of the sizes. Uh, I'm sure the person who I stole the sizes from won't mind. Um, okay, now I have to find the hole where I left it so that I can turn it all right side round. So you can see it's really taking shape and the same applies. As long as I don't stretch this fabric it's going to be okay. Tricks of the trade, sharp needle, thin needle and um, 
patience really do test those uh, there is probably around here somewhere it's usually in shot is just a couple of um, like test sews um, and it just yeah I wouldn't want you to be put off with it and um, I don't regret buying an overlocker at all it's just that I can do it on this so here you go I've got the the fabric now turned the right way round, and I've done that little pushing in the corner now it's never going to be happy unless it's got something for the feet to grip onto and don't forget this is the lining so it's um, as tidy as possible um, I've got a couple of stitches in there I've got quite a few actually and I'm just going to push that in so that it's as tidy as possible now I know I nearly said and it's a bit uncharitable isn't it doesn't need to be perfect on the lining because they're only going to be in it for a couple of weeks but this is true you know they grow so fast but they do need the best of everything at this age. So we've got the lining now sewn together so we can push the hat through. <sighs> I know. That's probably the hardest bit of the whole make, isn't it? <laughs> Turning it the right side round. So I'm just going to unfold the ears. And I'm using that word for no reason. And you can put a couple of stitches just to hold the lining and the ears in place. Do, do, do. Yep, I've just got the ear in my thumb and forefinger and I'm literally just pushing it through. Um, if I was making a lot of these then it would probably get easier and I would find a, a really good technique. So, now it's a matter of just finding where it naturally lies. those folded through and maybe a couple of stitches just at the side there just to keep it in straight so we have a summer hat now yes it is it is a case of I know such a simple sew but trust me anyone would be very grateful if, if they um, we're trying to find a new hat for their little cherub and realised that there was just none available. So yeah, I'm just teasing it with my fingers. That's all I'm doing. Obviously I'm going through quite a lot of layers of fabric and I've done that thing where I haven't given the feet anything to grip on yet. And the important thing is to remember that they can't have anything tight on the top of their heads when they're very young. So, I know it's really, really not, really, really not pushed in properly. But I can work through that. So there we are. A super cute for a super cute little friend. Okay, thank you ever so much for watching. My name's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you ever so much.